Women's History Month. Can you make some noise, right? Uh, there we go. Good afternoon. I'm City Commissioner Omar Sabir. I'm one of three city commissioners. City commissioners are three member, bipartisan board of elected officials. We handle all the election functions in Philadelphia County and the voter registration. I'd like to thank both that John. Uh, you know, the 2020 election, there was a lot of scrutiny. It was just, it was a lot. And both that John was with us. He was our registering voters, informing the community about how to vote, when to vote. You know, I had voter registration forms, I had paper forms. They said, we're gonna register some folks. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna show y'all y'all young whipper snap or something. I had paper register. They had the laptops and all that, and the tablets and stuff. <laughs> like, we don't register like that. This is how we register. And it was a great uh, experience. I'm looking forward to working uh, in the future. Today is a profound occasion. I would like to thank everyone for showing up to celebrate Harriet Tubman's legacy during Women's History Month. And I would also like to thank all of the powerful women for the amazing work that you do. Madam Tubman was born in March and passed on March 10th, 1913. Her legacy still beams like the sun in the sky and gleams like the star in the night. She is a true mother of service. Her resilience and brilliance had no bounds. Madam Tubman's history will continue to live on. This toast is to Harriet Tubman. <laughs> Um, hello, my name is Shayla Street, um, former Boat That Join uh, intern and also a part of PA Youth Vote on the advisory board. And it's so good to be here virtually. I feel like I'm home through the computer. So a toast to Tubman, a true patriot, a general. Talk about infantry, a woman who refused to settle, a womanist who did not believe in change over time, but change now, a free woman fearless enough to reimagine and recreate, an inspiration to us all to push on, change on. General Tubman taught us that what seems foreign is what will set us all free. Free from notions that we are natural born slaves. Free reminds us that freedom is possible. There's a difference between enslaved and slave. Not leaving one behind, but rising up together. So pick up that join, shout out that join, remind them of that join, toast to that join. Thank you. Uh, my name is Angie Pajadas and I am a student at the University of Pennsylvania. And I'm going to be reading a toast that was written by State Rep Joe Webster from the 150th Legislative District. Harriet Tubman is most often known for her work with the Underground Railroad but she was also an outspoken supporter of women's suffrage or women's right to vote. Tubman recognized that the power to vote is the power to effect real change. Her work and legacy would inspire others to continue the fight for women's suffrage even after her death in 1913. A toast to Tubman as we thank her for her endless pursuit in the fight for freedom and democracy. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Kyla Downs and I am also a student from the University of Pennsylvania. Today I will be reading a toast from Mr. Stroman Wheeler, an actor who played my General Tubman for the 2021 New Jersey Theater Festival. We owe so much to Harriet Tubman's heroism and fortitude. Although Ms. Tubman is known largely for her courageous efforts of the Underground Railroad, her accomplishments didn't stop there. It is exciting to continue celebrating her and acknowledging her involvement in women's suffrage, especially at this time when voting is a major part of our nation's conversation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carson Eckerd. I'm a Vote That John alum, and I now work for the Liberation Foundation. Years after the Kambahi River Raid, Harriet Tubman recalled her life's work as an Underground Railroad conductor freedom leader and advocate for the disenfranchised. 
declaring, I should fight for my freedom as long as my strength should last. In a world where violence persists, where disenfranchisement, disenfranchisement continues, may we, re we remember Harriet's strength and may we continue her fight for abolition and justice. To Harriet and to courage, that we may have the bravery to fight for freedom as long as our strength should last, and that we may care for and support those around us who endeavor to do the same. To Harriet. Elena, and I am also a student at the University of Pennsylvania. Not only did Harriet Tubman show an incredible amount of bravery when helping free enslaved African Americans, but she was also a very outspoken suffragette. The best way to honor her today would be to continue her wish of making voting available and easy for all citizens. Let's give a toast to Tubman by thinking about ways we can continue her legacy and advocating for more accessible voting practices in Philadelphia and across our country. Um, hi, my name is Isaiah Lucas, and I'm here to give a toast to Harriet Tubman and her awe-inspiring legacy. We give thanks to her for liberating herself and other slaves through the Underground Railroad to freedom. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Nyla Rankin. I'm from Girard College. Today I will be giving a toast to Harriet Tubman. As we all know, it is Black History Month, which you know ended two days ago, and it's now Women's History Month. Harriet is the first example of a strong Black woman. Not only did she fight for her own, she fought for her family and she fought for her people and her community. And for that, she is a legend. So this is to Harriet. Thank you, good afternoon. I'm Sharif al -Maki. I'm with the Center for Black Educator Development and uh, really pleased to, uh, you know, to be here. If you hear the dogs, keep going. If you see the torches in the woods, keep going. If they're shouting after you, keep going. Don't ever stop. What? Keep going. If you want a taste of freedom. When I think of Araminta Ross, I think that of how inspirational it was that it, I named my eldest daughter after her. Araminta Ross, or Harriet Tubman, as we know her. I think of intersectionality of the freedom movement and that she wasn't paid her dues as an enslaved human being or as a liberated one. As I toast my General Tubman, I think of her voice, her message of self-determination that directly ties to voting rights and suffragism. I think of how her freedom work and the freedom work of people like Octavius Caddo intersect. I reflect on it for Harriet's freedom work and how it ties to the women's rights, suffrage movement, and the fight today for disenfranchised people. I think of her bravery and leadership and that same leadership and courage necessary today to protect and solidify voting rights so that it can be beyond the stroke of a divisive and deceitful mindset hiding behind racist pens and keyboards. To paraphrase my general, our general, Harriet Araminta Ross Tubman, reach for the stars to change the world and reach for the ballot while you're at it. And no matter what the opposition says or does, keep, thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Valerie Gay. I'm the former executive director of Art Sanctuary. Um, and I had the great pleasure of having um, oversight of the winning team, one of the winning teams for that first vote that John. We had the youngest team, the youngest person in our team was just 12 years old at the time. The oldest was 16. So none of them could vote. And yet they were inspired to get out 
other folks to, in their communities, their near peers, the 18 year olds in their lives, as well as adults. They stood on street corners, they went to supermarkets, they talked to their friends and neighbors to get people to vote. And that really rings true for me. Um, with Harriet Tubman thinking about um, her suffrage and, and thinking about her, her strength, even in the face of friendly fire, that's what I'll call it, friendly fire, that as a woman, as a black woman, as a strong black woman, who was also interested in making sure that other people were free, put her life on the line for other people to be free. I can't help but think about the legacy of my own family's line. As I stand here in a hospital, my mother and father on the other side of this curtain here, um, as my parents, um, as my mother is, is recuperating, those people taught me about the importance of voting because my grandparents had to pay poll tax and jump through all kinds of hoops to vote. When I first learned about Harriet Tubman and her strength, I thought about would I be able to handle what she faced as a child, as an adult, as a freedom fighter, as a suffragist, as a spy? I still don't know the answer to that. And so as I reflect on her, all I can think of is thank you, Harriet Tubman, and here's to my general Harriet. Thank you. But it's a pleasure to be asked to join you. And it couldn't have been, this toast to Harriet Tubman couldn't have come at a more appropriate time. You know, freedom is in one way the most enduring of all human emotions. People everywhere want to be free. They want to be able to create their own destiny. They want to be able to do what they think is the right path to follow. And yet in the history of human endeavor, freedom has been restricted by so many different forces. And we're lucky that over the centuries, we've had freedom fighters from Spartacus back in ancient Greece to someone like Harriet Tubman who fought for the freedom of so many and was so successful against seemingly all odds. And now, as we recognize Harriet for her great work and her bravery and her courage, we're seeing the world go through another heartbreaking instance of people who just wanna be free, who just wanna create their own destiny, who just wanna rule their own country. And those people have given a strong definition of the word freedom. We owe a lot to the Ukrainians who have fought so hard against such an overwhelming odds and are holding their own just because there is no stronger emotion than the emotion to be free. So as we toast Harriet Tubman, a great freedom fighter from our country, a great freedom fighter who set us on the right path, let's also take a minute to toast every one of those loyal Ukrainians who lay down in front of rolling tanks, who fight having never held a gun until yesterday, who are willing to do all for their country and their freedom and their people. So a toast to Harriet Tubman for the great work that she did, a true American hero, and a toast to a lot of American heroes who happen to be from Ukraine. Hi everyone, my name is Samantha and I'm also a student at the University of Pennsylvania um, and I'm excited to toast to Tubman today as well. This year marks Harriet Tubman's 200th birthday. Harriet Tubman once said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. She was not only a dreamer, but also a natural born leader who inspired others with her own bravery. To dream is to believe not only in your peers, but to believe in the potential that your peers possess. Here's to more than dreaming for, but voting for, a better future, and to honoring her centuries old legacy to being the change that you want to see. Thank you, everyone. That's okay.
This is the last one. That's good. <laughs> Thanks so much to everyone, to Commissioner, to Kelly Lee for bringing, uh, being part of bringing that amazing Wofford statue to the north side of City Hall. Thank you very much for that. It matters that we have occasions, occasions to be reminded. It's one of the things art does, is it reminds us of things that we tend to forget. And as human beings, we tend to forget the most important things. Thank you, all of us. Thank you so much, um, Sharif el Meki, for telling us, as you tell your educators, to keep going. Thank you, Commissioner, for being here. I know you keep going and you're out on the streets and everywhere, all over, all the time. Um, thank you to the uh, African American Museum members who have come yeah, good guy, the and to the students. Nothing, nothing, nothing will change. Nothing will change without persistence. Nothing will change without us making it change. That's, that's climate that's justice, that's all the things that matter to you, which is why all of us are behind 18 year olds getting out and voting and saying, we won't have it. We won't have it like this anymore. Thank you, thank you Tubman. Thank you again to the actors, Aaron Bell, Morgan Charisse, <laughs> and, <laughs> and to Ms. Glico. Thank you, uh, Arden Theater. And good night.